Akoli Ghosh Dastidar would be that maybe you could have evolved a consensus on Draupadi Murmu, woman, Adivasi, even Mamta Banerjee has now said that if they had known in advance that Draupadi Murmu was the candidate of the opposition, or, or, of the government, they would have actually considered supporting her. Do you believe that the Trinamool Congress also jumped the gun with Yashwan Sinha? That you could have perhaps waited for the government to announce Draupadi Murmu and then maybe supported her. We could have had a consensus candidate as a, a president of India for once. That would have been a different story, I agree with you. But the new political trend in India is to abolish the opinion and presence of the opposition. Mm -hmm. You know, it would have been very uh, political if the ruling party would have discussed with the opposition. Now, when 17 opposition parties get together and seal the candidate, then how can you just come away from there? What Mamta Banerjee said is that, and she's shown it in her work also, that she's educated 80 lakh of girl children in uh, the state of West Bengal, where she's the third time chief minister, that she has a, a soft corner for women's empowerment. And also the Adivasi is very close to her heart, that we can understand that she's made Four Adivasi elected MLA's ministers in the state. So she, could have, so she, so she so, could have easily supported Draupadi Murmu. So if, of course she could have. If this could have been discussed with her prior to the declaration of the opposition candidate. Why was it kept under wraps? Because Bharatiya Janta Party does not trust the opposition. And now we see they don't even trust their own. No, they've exposed your opposition because. divisions. They've exposed the divisions in the opposition. They brought a woman and an Adivasi and suddenly they changed the rules of the game. It's a political masterstroke, some would say. No, we, we, what we would say is that they are always thinking of the elections. They're not thinking of the people. They're not thinking of the Adivasi sentiment or the woman sentiment. What they're thinking is, you can see from the uh, recent... Uh, you know, events in Maharashtra, mm -hmm. see, they are only thinking of votes because forthcoming elections are going to be in states like Madhya Pradesh, where we have a good Adivasi voter turnout. And so, they are always thinking of grabbing power, which is very unhealthy for democracy. You know, I thought politi this, okay, politics was at one level about grabbing power, but the flip side of that, Zafar Islam, is that this is a rubber stamp president. You criticized the Congress when Pratibha Patil was made, saying she's a, going to be a rubber stamp. Now the opposition is saying the same. Draupadi Murmu, we haven't even, she hasn't even had a press conference. She hasn't told us what she's going to stand for when she becomes president. In all the photographs, when she's with the Prime Minister, the Prime Minister is larger than life. Draupadi Murmu is in the background. She's a rubber stamp president, is the allegation which has been made by the opposition. You convenient. She's not, she's only there because she will never oppose what Mr. Modi says. Well, when the opposition has nothing else to say, they know that they have lost. They chose the wrong candidate in the Assembly Army, while India had chosen the right candidate. And even the message was very loud and clear. Four Congress spokesperson, when CNC spokesperson has very candidly accepted that she was the right candidate, perhaps. If we could have announced earlier, then probably they would have there there would have been a consensus as well. But is she not a rubber stamp? But is the, she not a rubber no, stamp? Absolutely not. What is rubber stamp? What you called Pratibha Patil. What you you called Pra stamp? you called Pratibha no, Patil a rubber stamp and Pratibha Patil had a longer political career in a way than Draupadi Murmu also has had. You must understand the background of Draupadi Murmu as, as well. She was also a cabinet minister in Odisha. She was a governor earlier. She knows how to conduct as the uh, 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 governor, she knew how to conduct as a, uh, the governor in, in Darkham. Now, she understands the responsibility to be charged as the president of India and she will do that. Okay. You know, uh, Why make this kind of a statement? Just because she is a lady and she comes from a ST background, that's why she has she is been targeted. No, no, sir, you made, as I said, the BJ, sir, sir, the BJP made the same accusation of Pratibha Patil, who was India's first woman president.